Hey everyone, I'm Steven here with Exponent, and I'm super excited to be interviewing Saurabh about solutions architect roles. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to get a solutions architect role and how to succeed in the interview. First, Saurabh, can you introduce yourself for those watching? Hi everyone, and uh, hi Steven, nice to have me. And this is Saurabh Trivasto, and I am a solution architect leader with uh, Amazon Web Services and working with AWS uh, since uh, six and a half years based off the Seattle. Awesome. And uh, Saurabh has written a new book, and we'll be talking about that a little bit more throughout this video. So Saurabh, I want to start off this interview by talking about the solutions engineer, solutions architect who's currently interviewing for a role. So you can imagine our viewer is someone who is interviewing for a company like AWS, and they're nervous about how to get the job. I want to first talk about that recruiting journey. And if you have any tips or advice for someone who is talking to a recruiter or applying to the role before they get into the interview stage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so since uh, cloud comes into the picture, this solution architect role become very prominent. Earlier, you, you, it used to be the business architect role and people used to do TOGAF and all those things. But now with all the different cloud provider, Amazon Web Services is one of the leader on that. But then you have the Microsoft Azure or GCP or Alibaba, any cloud providers. So when this recruiting journey is start, first you need to look at the job description and what they are looking for. Even though most of the time uh, they, they want to have some kind of the public cloud skills you need to have. So I will recommend if you are not working in the public cloud and it's fine to have the good knowledge into the on-premise on environment, but let's get some basic certification. So like AWS, if you'll get the cloud practitioner certification or associate solution architect certification that make your case stronger for to get selected for the interview. Even though certification is not guaranteed that you are champion on that, but it is says that, hey, at least you know something and you are disciplined enough to learn. Okay, and then that say that you are going to be learn and be curious in ramp up period, you can do better. So I will say that should be the first things, look at the job description, what is the demand there? Because in cloud also, there are different kind of solution architect role. It could be the security focus, it could be the data focus, or machine learning focus, or enterprise application focus, and it could be journalist role also. Okay, so uh, look at the job description, modify your, uh, uh, make sure you accommodate all the required skill and resume, and then go for the application and get the basic certification that I will summarize. That makes sense. And um, I think there's a lot of good value in, you know, a lot of mm -hmm. candidates need to look at job descriptions to know how to interview effectively because there's always different aspects to them. Well, one thing that comes up a lot is like, do you need a certification to succeed? I know you're saying a certification doesn't guarantee it, but for those watching, like, would you, how strongly would you recommend getting that mm -hmm. certification before going through that application process? Yes. yes. So what happened there is a lot of people in the market, okay? So there is a lot of job also, but uh, there is still a lot of demand for the uh, good skills people. So when hiring manager go and is screening through the resume, they always see if you have some kind of certification, then you get through the, you have higher chances of getting the call. Okay, so that that is the, so I see it is still has the value to get yourself front in the line. However, it, hiring manager will not assume that, oh, you have the certification, so you are going to get hired, but at least you get chance to get the call and have interview and get the face time with the recruiting team. Got it. That's super helpful. Yeah. Um, so let's imagine now, you know, we've gotten through, we've, we've gotten that call. Tell me about the call. Tell me about the interview process and what that looks like for those watching. Mm -hmm. So I can talk about the Amazon interview process, how it works into the AWS. And pretty much if you prepared for this, I can, I can say that you can crack any interview. Okay, it's pretty rigorous process. <laughs> now, but uh, it is a very good journey, uh, a learning experience. So first things, uh, when you onboard into the interview process, there will be a first phone screening interview. And there might be some written exercise. Okay, but most of the time phone screening interview and they took the phone screen and they, they check uh, uh, if you are the person 
to whom we should call on site aws should call on site and because we are going to spend five round of interview means it is uh, five hours of time and this uh, and this is lots of uh, time investment from both party from the interviewer side and interview side also so we want to make sure that we get the right candidate there so these uh, 60 minute or 90 minute phone screening process i evaluate if you are uh, good in good uh, knowledge or take depth and take breadth into the um, solution architect role if you have that and also if you satisfy the basic leadership principle so like uh, Amazon have 16 leadership principle and some critical leadership principle are like customer obsession earn trust learn and be curious so just to validate the basic things okay and once you able to crack the phone screening by uh, proving yourself right you have some you have the good breadth of the technical knowledge and you have one area of depth means we are not expecting everyone to, to be champion in all the area right so someone and know the data very well someone know the security very well but we also expect you if you can go 400 deep into the data security or container you also have the basic knowledge of all other things also okay the basic networking or basic databases and all those things uh, so that uh, so that kind of skill set required from tech perspective leadership principle is all about uh, learning from your experience okay so uh, it's about uh, uh, whatever you have learned in your experience just put that in a star format okay so like a situation task action and result and that uh, things will help you a lot to move forward to all the process so suppose when you are reaching into the on site process where there will be five round of the interview and each interview will be a discussion because there will be no hypothetical situation there will be mostly a tell uh, behavioral question okay tell me a time when you solve the customer problem right so you can go and talk about in star format talk about the situation hey this uh, this particular uh, incidents when customer was in that uh, he wanted particular feature and what action you took to gather the customer feedback and what task you did you might have created some architecture and all and what was the result will it deploy to the customer side and uh, what was the performance improvement or this it address the customer uh, satisfaction rating um, so all those data backed decision need to be there and uh, all of the uh, interviews based on that behavioral uh, things only because we want to learn from your experience what you have learned in years of experience okay and if it is for the new grad like college higher and all those things even though they don't have much experience in industry experience then also we ask uh, we try to learn what you have gained might be during your graduation through your college project and what basic skills you have gone you have got to satisfy the leadership principle which are the critical for the role hmm. yeah that that's really great advice and One thing, yeah, definitely unique about Amazon is these leadership principles, and it's important to know those beforehand. One question, I, I guess, that sometimes comes up is: Is it okay to reuse the same example for different leadership principles? Um, you know, any tips about those specific leadership principles interviews? Yeah, so that's a very good question because uh, one question can qualify across multiple leadership principles. Okay, so if you are talking about the customer obsession, that can be qualified for bias for action also. When you took immediate action to solve the customer problem, right? So I will say when any person is coming for the interview, I advise him if you have five round interview, at least prepare eight to ten examples. Okay, or minimum seven eight examples. It's fine to repeat the examples, but don't repeat the same example across four or five interviews. you can repeat for two interview okay so suppose if you have seven or eight example you can repeat it across two different interviewer but don't take it for across four all four mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and then i i'd be curious so you know these are the amazon leadership principles what what other kinds of interview questions come up or what other things do you think people need to be prepared for in that interview cycle so one critical things i will say if, so i talked about the star format okay so situation task action and result but uh, you need to 
go into the deep into whatever example you are saying so suppose if you are coming into the task part and say hey, i build the architecture where uh, it was containerizing the application from the monolithic to microservice now be ready to dive deep into what is the restful architecture what is the circuit breaker pattern how you handle the edge cases like when downstream system is down and your system is not crashing entirely and uh, what kind of container you used whether it is docker or kubernetes if kubernetes then how kubernetes is working okay so whatever example you are giving make sure that you are able to have that you are able to dive deep on that that is first from technical perspective and the second is uh, how you are scaling the things so suppose you have built this solution you deployed in one customer can you package it into a full fledged platform or product and deploy it across other customer also could you make it rinse and repeat scalability is very important right so once you come to the result then also make sure that you give a thought how to scale it then ask three question to yourself okay what was the challenges any project you are doing in real time you will have some challenges right so what was the challenges you faced and how you solved them the second is what was the success criteria did you baseline in what key performance indicator are there where i can going to measure the success so suppose earlier page load time was the 10 second am i is my performance success it should be like 5 second or 3 second load time right so and that or i need to increase the customer acquisition so earlier there was 1 million users was using the website now i am able to drive 1.5 million so 50% growth there so the key performance indicator should be there and third is what was lesson learned if you need to do the same things today if you want to rearchitect the same what differently you will do so ask these three question also after preparing your example and that will set you for the success that's really helpful advice that's super mm-hmm. awesome is there anything else that you think would be helpful to know for folks who are interviewing for solutions architect roles either at aws or other companies yeah so solution architect role is very natural so it's not about uh, just a tech geek right it, this person also need to be very good in the soft skill present in terms of the cxos okay so ceo cios and uh, the solution architect role is start taking the enterprise landscape and convincing the key stakeholders also get the buy in hey are you going to fund this okay and then take that once getting the buy in from the executive then go and work with the engineer and tell them how it is going to implement so soft skill is very important and the most important things is you need to always be learning so whenever i look any solution architect i make sure and i wanted to know how enthusiastic he is in learning because entire uh, uh the organization is depend upon your architect you are building the foundation and you are going to provide the choice which technology use to use or which which is not and if you are not continuously learning every 6 month new technology is coming so at least in your domain you should be aware what is the right fit and what is not hmm. like and one way to do that always do the hands on and like building some prototype so if i get like some new technology i said okay let's put a quick prototype on that a proof of concept and see if it is really working or not so show and tell model rapid prototyping continuously learning and having those soft skills to convince the executive and convert the requirement to the at engineering level is very important totally this is all super helpful startup like um you know i i want to be mindful of the time but is there anything else that you want to add or anything else that you you think would be helpful this has been really helpful for people who are interviewing for roles so see i'm in this field since a long time so and often people ask me this question okay how to get succeed in this role and how mm-hmm. to so that is the reason i wrote the book the solution architect handbook okay so i will show you uh, this is the book i wrote and this is the second edition so first edition launch in 2020 and it was has pretty good adoption so i wrote the second edition also and expanded some more horizon and this book uh, whatever i have talked about everything i put there 
so that it will help people to uh, understand what is the solution architect role and how to go about it and what the different expectation in the industry including from technical part to the conceptual to soft skills also so i will say if you are looking into the more detail just uh, take that is your bible the solution architect handbook awesome and we'll include a link in uh the page below as well um but before we close, I just wanted to say thank you, Sarab. This is super helpful. Hope this is helpful for folks watching. Um, and for folks watching, if you are, don't already know about Exponent, um, you can check us out at tryexponent.com. We help people land their dream tech job in roles like solution architect roles. Um, we have interview courses for roles in solution architect as well as PM, TPM, engineering management, and more. Um, thanks once again, Sarab. It was great to have you on the show. Okay, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to let us know that this video is valuable for you. And of course, check out hundreds more videos just like this at tryexponent.com. Thanks for watching and good luck on your upcoming interview.